Hi, we're Yvonne and Jeremy. We got married last year and we're now embarking on a new season of life. In our last video, we began our time in the Pacific Northwest by visiting 10 waterfalls in the Portland area. In today's video, a few friends join us for a few days as we explore the Olympic Peninsula in the state of Washington. Having our lunch, smoked salmon cream cheese bagel, and with a view. It is Labor Day weekend, so there are quite a few people here. <laughs> Alright, we're going to officially start our hike at the Hurricane Ridge. I believe we're going on the the Clahane Clahane Trail. Trail, yes. <laughs> Obviously you did the research for this trip. <laughs> It'll be fun. The beginning of the trail is paved and pretty well kept. Hopefully it doesn't take us super long to do this trail, so we probably gotta get going and not stop too much to look at everything. a dirt trail going all the way up. Some parts are shaded, some parts are exposed. It's not too bad of a trail. We're seeing our destination now. Woohoo! Look at Jeremy compared to the mountain. He's so tiny. We were told five more of these switchbacks. Hopefully they're telling the truth. Still hiking and we're going to go up that peak. We still got some ways to go. I'm gonna go run up. It'll make things go faster I think. All right let's go. If anyone asked who that mad woman running up the Olympic range was, it was my wife.
His whole trail is like loose rocks like this. Just drops off all the way down. <laughs> The trail is just not marked. It's very treacherous. There's loose rocks everywhere. So there are just times when we're not sure if we should go left or right. We're going to turn back here. The view that we're getting up here is still pretty incredible. Very, very nice. And I'm really satisfied with this. Hanging off on the side of a mountain. Not sure how we even got up here. At least the view is nice. Going down is scarier than going up, so I think we're going to take our time. Wow, how do we even get up here? Careful. So we may have almost died on the switchback trail, and there are a few points where my adrenaline was really pumping, but finally we made it back down. It wasn't really a rock scramble like I was expecting. It was more like a gravel scramble. All right, we finally made it back down to the parking lot. The sun was basically setting while we were hiking down. <laughs> Can't believe we spent the whole day. <laughs> well, no, we, only the afternoon. Only the afternoon. Yeah, but it was really, really nice. But yeah, we probably shouldn't have attempted that treacherous part. What do you have to say to our viewers? What? Uh, smash that like button! <laughs> Woo! Hit that bell, subscribe! <laughs> Alright, day two at Olympic. We are going to explore the beach areas. So right now we're at Rialto Beach. We just parked and we're hoping to catch the sunset. Jeremy? Hey! <laughs> They're the girls. There are these dead logs. Wow. It's beautiful. Let's go, Jeremy. Be careful now, Jeremy. Oh, you did it. Good job. now at the hole in the wall the tides are supposed to be rolling in in five minutes but we're still out here venturing into the tide pools area trying to see if we find any starfish and other sea creatures but we should probably head back soon <laughs> we found a starfish
right, we've reached the trailhead and we're going to brave the incline. the switchbacks. All right, we've done three of these switchbacks and I think we're running out of breath already. How many more miles until we get up there? All right, it will be an adventure. A lot of the trail is blocked by a lot of trees, so you can see some parts of the lake, but not the entire thing. Most of the trail, you can't really see much of a view, but I know that when we get to the top, it will be very, very rewarding. While hiking up, you can see parts of the lake, but once you're up top, you can actually see the crescent shape. This is a beautiful hike. I have to admit, there are some parts that are very, very, very painful, but it's a beautiful kind of painful because you're in a beautiful environment. just keep going. Oh, I'm thankful that I have supportive friends I can hike with. <laughs> the Mount Storm King Trail. Going down was definitely pretty hard too actually. I don't know which one I would prefer. My shoes aren't even brown, they're like yellow at this point because of all the dust. decided not to come up here to this waterfall because we were pretty tired but it's really not as strenuous as the Mount Storm King so and make the trek up it's worth it the view Good afternoon, we've started our walk in the Ho Rainforest. It's just very, very green, temperate rainforest. Temperate rainforests like the Ho Rainforest get a lot of rain but don't get too hot or cold. So they tend to have a lot of mosses and ferns.
No one told us that the Hall of Mosses is a Hall of Mosquitoes. We are now on the Ho River Trail. To be honest, I think we're seeing everything that we saw at the Hall of Mosses Trail, um, but with just less interpretive signs and also less people and less crowds. So I think if I could just visit one of these, I would just go to the Ho River Trail and probably just go to the first river access. The first river access is about a mile into the Ho River Trail. So that makes it pretty easy and short hike. So I think I will go for that if I come again and I have limited time. All right, so we're gonna end today's video here. If you wanna check out the rest of our adventures through the Pacific Northwest, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll pick up next time at Mount Rainier. Going down is scarier than going down, so I think we're going to take our time. Charming. <laughs>